I just wanted to do a quick little tour of my fridge to show you what kind of food we keep around if following a keto diet. I love seeing what other people have in their fridges and pantries, so I figured you might enjoy watching what we have in our fridge. Let's go and check it out. Alright, so keep in mind here that we have two people doing keto and one person not doing keto in our family. So as you can see, we have free range eggs here on the top shelf, cream cheese, which is a great staple to have around, but there's also some puddings, which is my daughter's. And I have this around because you never know when um, the garlic might go bad or something like that. This is um, fine chopped garlic in olive oil. And let's see if we can... On the back shelf here, my daughter has some cream cheese that she likes to use. And she also has this butter mix, which is uh, olive oil and butter mixed for sandwiches. Some heavy whipping cream. I like this organic valley kind. And they also have a really good G. She has some Concord grapes spread back there for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. This is my favorite brand of sour cream. I like this one because it's a little bit higher in fat than the other brands that our store carries. So that's the top shelf. This is the second shelf. I usually have a bottle of organic lemon juice in the back here. I like to make some kale smoothies once in a while and this is a good Thing to add to that and I usually have an open container of chicken broth that I use for making sauces and things like that. In the back my husband has some olives, some black olives and he also has some green olives. I don't like olives myself but he loves it. I on the other hand like pickles and I got a couple of jars, one open one open and then bubbies. If you've never seen or heard of these this is actually a fermented pickle it's a little bit different tasting, but it's great because it gives you beneficial bacteria in your diet. I love goat cheese, so I usually have a couple of containers of goat cheese. I just happened to buy this one because it was buy and get them free. I normally buy the smaller logs that are a little bit cheaper. Uh, sometimes I get cheese like this. It's good to add, like if you're making stuffed chicken. I have some mascarpone, which is great for fat bombs. My daughter loves hummus, so she usually have a couple of containers of that. And... These are things I found out and about. I got some lemonades, which is great for, with fish. This is a spicier version of that. Also great with fish. I don't know why this almond butter is in the fridge, but it's been put in there, so it's in there now. It's creamy almond butter. An open container of salsa. It's good to add a couple spoons to some dishes sometimes. Here we have mainly our drink shelf. In the back, we have my daughter's milk. And she also has orange juice, and in the back she has some lemonade. I love green unsweet iced tea, that's mine. We got some bubbly water here, more bubbly water. My daughter likes soda, so there's usually Diet Coke or 7-Up in here. And I do drink that once in a while. I'm not going to say it's the best option, but you know, if that's what gets you through the day, that's fine by me. It doesn't kick me out of ketosis. Uh, here is our, I would call it like the deli drawer. Uh, we usually have some bacon. There's a couple packs of bacon. Usually there's always at least a few containers of different types of shredded cheese. My daughter has grilled cheese for grilled cheese sandwiches, turkey sandwiches. She has this is her turkey. She likes turkey and cheese sandwiches. And then we have some different types of snack cheeses. My husband loves snacking on cheese. And then we have some other snack cheeses, which is more the kind that I usually go for and there's usually open packages of different types of meats that need to be eaten some bacon, some ham and here is some ready-made bacon and that's what we keep in there and then in this skinny shelf I keep extra eggs fits perfectly in there and in our first produce store my daughter um, is having a really hard time eating fruits and vegetables so one way to get it to eat more is to get these. I know, completely unnecessary, but it works for her. And she can eat it on her own, grab some apples to go. I have a couple heads of cauliflower, always good to have that in hand. Some onions that I have already used half of, and there's also a piece of protein on there. So saving that. Some cilantro, my favorite herb. We have to some chives and some mushrooms. I don't eat mushrooms, but my husband do. And I don't mind cooking with it. In the last drawer, we have a couple containers of organic baby spinach. Um, you can add this to salads, but I like to add a couple handfuls to whatever 
fish you're making, you know, just to add some extra greens in there. We also have a green cabbage here. There is a leek and a red pepper. And I think that's it. So let's start on the bottom here since we're done here. Uh, this is where I keep some dressings that I don't use as much. Some of these have some oils in it that are not necessarily good. Uh, but they're sugar free, which is hard in, by itself to find. Um, this one actually has um, canola oil in it, so that's why it hasn't been opened because I'm not exactly a fan. Uh, Walden Farms, this is free of pretty much anything, and it doesn't exactly have the best oils in it either, but it's honey Dijon, so I use this as a honey mustard dip for when I make my own chicken tenders or something like that. And this is actually pretty good. Chipping shallot walnut dressing from Stonewall Kitchen. And this one is actually made with pure olive oil and some walnut oil. So this is actually a really good option. And then we have olive oil and balsamic dressing. And this is a great option with pure olive oil, balsamic vinegar, spice and garlic. Of course, you can make this yourself very easily, but you know, when you're busy, it's nice to have things like that around. This is Whole, Whole Foods' own Herbs de Provence vinaigrette, and this is a good option. As you can see, it has um, no bad oils in it, and I can recommend you try that one, that's good. On the next shelf, we have my daughter's regular ketchup, and we have the sugar-free kind with no sugar added. Well, it's not sugar-free because tomatoes have sugar in it, but it's the one with no sugar added, so it has some sucralose. I usually have some Dijon and some regular spicy mustard in the back, and we have right now the Primal Kitchen Chipotle lime mayo which is really good and we have some sir kensington's mayo this one happened to be made with sunflower oil so it's not my favorite i prefer getting one with avocado oil but you know i grabbed the wrong kind last time but this is non-gmo so that is a plus and then i usually have a few bottles of primal kitchen's dressing they have probably the best option for salad dressing on the market right now they're all made with 100 percent avocado oil this is my absolute favorite it's a spicy italian creamy italian dressing but it's very difficult to find and i just love it the green goddess is pretty good too and then you have the lemon turmeric in the back and we also have a regular ranch on our next shelf we have my daughter's maple syrup she loves pancakes in the morning and that's also hers. I got some coconut flour, some white wine for when you need that for cooking. It's great to have one of those containers. Some golden flaxseed. And we also happen to have a bottle of gin that no one drinks. The next shelf up, I have some tree rasa sauce, some coconut aminos, some hot sauce, some tamari. Red Boat Fish Sauce, my favorite, it's really good, I can recommend it. It's so good for adding umami flavors to your cooking. I love capers, so I usually keep that around. around. Harissa is great for adding a little bit of heat, not too much. Always got some chili paste at home. And some red curry paste is always good to have on hand. And I usually have a couple of these tomato paste concentrates in there. Uh, this is not my favorite brand. It's a little bit bitter, but I bought it, so I'm going to use it up. Uh, this is for when my daughter gets sick. Black elderberry syrup is really, really effective for flus and colds. I can recommend you try that. And this brand is Sweet Leaf. It's really good. This is a vanilla cream. It's really something I can recommend. And I have some, <laughs> this is a, a beauty item, a rosy oil that I keep in there. And some old forgotten teeth whitening kits. And the top shelf here, the Kerrygold shelf, of course. We have regular and we have unsalted, different varieties there. And that concludes our quick little tour of my keto fridge.